proudly supporting Oxfam as we have done for the last 22 years. Give yourself a big round of applause for being here on such an amazing night of comedy. I live overseas half of the year, right? I live in America half of the year, and I was there just after the election, and this guy came up to me in a show, and he was like, oh, I'd never move to Australia. Too many dangerous animals. I was like, look around your country, mate. <laughs> At least the dingoes don't have guns. I'm fine. <laughs> We've made our choices, right? He's like, oh, what about the sharks? What about the sharks? I mean, yeah, I mean, they're dangerous, but mostly in the water. I'd let you have your gun if you were like, oh, I'm keeping it off the coast. That's fine. <laughs> a shark really bothers you at any other time of the day, right? You're really getting money out of an ATM at three o'clock in the morning and you just feel a little fin in your back. <laughs> Turn around, there's a shark and a balaclava like, I'm a dolphin. <laughs> All I'm saying is we have dangerous animals, but they're not as dangerous guns, right? You never hear in Australia of some psycho walking into a school and chucking redbacks everywhere. <laughs> you don't have our version of the NRA, the RSPCA, coming out going, well, the only way to prevent that is if the teachers are armed with funnel web spiders. <laughs> we do have our problems, though. Pauline Hanson's back. Uh, 22 years ago, when I started here at the festival, she was around Pauline Hanson and she hated Asians. She was like, oh, the Asians, they're coming to Australia and they're going to take over Australia, the Asians. And now she's back, like 20 years later, she's like, oh, nuts, the Muslims, the Muslims, they're going to take over Australia, it's the Muslims. And all I just think is, hey, Pauline, what happened to the Asians? <laughs> she loves Asians now. She's in Sushi Train doing press conferences like, nah, it's the Muzzies, they're the problem. <laughs> I reckon the Asians started the shit about the Muslims. I'm not... <laughs> I mean, it sounds like a good plan, right? Pass it forward. We spend too much time worrying about stuff that we shouldn't be worried about. That's what I think, right? Everyone seems to be so mad about halal food. Corey Bernardi did an inquiry in the Australian Senate because of halal food. He goes, oh, it's not just a way to prepare food. He goes, it's a religious ceremony because when they cut the animal's throat, they say basmala, which is in the name of God. So that makes it a religious ceremony, does it, Corey? When someone sneezes, I say, bless you. <laughs> Hang on, am I God? <laughs> when someone screams out, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, in my bedroom. <laughs> does that make that a church? Because <laughs> if so, I'm not paying my taxes from now on. <laughs> and when I say someone, I mean me alone, but I kept a receipt, so that counts. <laughs> uh, they got mad because our troops were gonna be served halal food. They're like, how can we be fighting the Muslims when we're eating halal food? Same way as normal. It's not like our crack SAS troops mid-afternoon are just gonna turn to each other and be like, hey, Gary, are you feeling a bit Muslim-y? <laughs> I've been feeling very Muslim-y since lunch. That's not how it works. Spoiler alert, if you drink Diet Coke, does not necessarily mean you're on a diet, right? <laughs> if you eat paleo food, does not necessarily mean that you're a dickhead, but... <laughs> But that's what Corey Bernardi seemed to think, right? He was like, oh no, I had some kosher food, me foreskin dropped off. 